Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the What Did He Said podcast. It's your boy Chingo Blingo with the Big Tamarindo. Marisol, I need you to feel like you got some confidence in the world, you know, some faith, and you know, the world ain't ending. And uh, we are broadcasting live from beautiful Houston, Texas. Strong Houston, Texas. We done been through some shit, Houston, Texas, but we survived. And uh, this episode is brought to you by Chingo Bling 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 Brand uh, Hand Sanitizer. Uh, they're like, you just put a sticker on the chip pure rail. Yeah. Anyway, let's everybody hey. Let's everybody wipe down. C L O R O X W U I P E. What you know about me? Germ free and them hoes ain't sticking by me. Hey. Six feet away. Yeah, we you freestyling. You know what I'm saying. But um, let me just dive in, man. Um, we're going to make some announcements about some dates and some things uh, that are happening in real time. I'm trying. I'm working on it, guys. Yeah. So just a heads up. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if the date will be postponed or if it'll be canceled and it'll actually be pushed to way later yeah. on in the year. That's kind of what we're determining right now. So yeah. that's where we are. That's why we haven't made any announcements about our dates being canceled because we're kind of waiting. So the reason I got into the comedy game and you know Chingo being touring, you know the team. Uh, the reason we love our job and we love, you know, what we do, I'm not speaking for people, but um, it, it, it's hella rewarding because what we do is we bring joy, we bring laughter, you know, we take away stress, we make people forget about their problems. We just did Phoenix and people were like, man, we needed that dog. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's the elephant in the room, man. I'm sick and tired of this Rona talk, Every, you know. We're diving in because there ain't shit else to talk about because it's what... It's everywhere. It's, it's what every, every channel, or, every YouTube. And it, it's affecting our lives. So it's what's happening right now. People are having to hunker down. And uh, the whole globe is. It's a global pandemic. It's not... It's kind of surreal. It's kind of trippy because we're used to like... Okay, it's a hurricane coming. It might it might go to Florida. It might hit Mississippi. It might hit Houston. We well, we, we don't have control, but we know... Does that make sense? We kind of know what to do. What's, what's expected, what may happen, yeah. what may not happen. This, on the other hand... It's the globe. It's like... It's the globe. It's the human species versus this other little thing, right, that kind of wants to take us out. It's a little demon. Mm -hmm. It's a little demon. And, uh, and here's, what I'm, here's the attitude I'm choosing to have. I'm choosing to have the attitude of, look, we're going to take care of each other. We're going to do what we got to do. We're going to adhere to what we got to adhere to. We're not listening to cheese man rumors and gossip about, oh man, they said this and they said that. Nah, we, we know what where to check the sources and we know what kind of questions to ask. But um, we're not going to make it easy for this virus. Don't make it easy for the Rona. You know what I'm saying? Like pretend, pretend you a high profile rapper and you out in the enemy's territory. You got some little East Coast, West Coast or you got some rat beef. You're not going to make it easy for them, right? To get you, to sneak up on you or some shit. So, don't make it easy for the Rona, man. Wash your hands. Um, you know, no te confies, way. Don't be like, hey, que hubo, que onda? Or know. because, you know, or, or, or here's the thing, too, is like, even family is in danger. Like, my sister, for example, you know what I'm saying? Like, I keep telling her, like, be careful. You go to this CrossFit gym, and you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's funny. Tell about the kettlebell. Don't be, you know, don't be at the gym holding them weights and oh, stuff. Oh, she says she's got her own that she hides in a corner. I use the same one every time. And that's fine and all, I'm but good. that one you're hiding in the corner and getting clean, boo boo. So, so uh, they came in the rest know, of them. You trying to have a personal kettlebell at the gym? So what's the point of having a membership if you're just gonna use the same kettlebell? Anyway, uh, I but I get what she was trying to say. She was trying to say like she's trying to be that's cautious. Her yeah, that's her way of like you know not. I mean, I haven't been to the gym, and I've been kind of, like, Great scared uh, to, to, to do so. You know what I'm saying? Because I just, like, when I was going to the gym, when it, this the whole corona had just kind of, you know, been announced, and the outbreak, and mm -hmm. the breaking news, and everything, I was basically, like, I had, I, I couldn't find no Clorox wipes, because obviously you can't find any now, but I did find uh, toilet wipes. What I mean by that is, like, they, they're to clean your toilet, and I said... Shit, these it's are going to work better. Yeah, exactly. I was like, antibacterial. You're like, my skin might fall Shit. off. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, they're strong because they leave my hand dry. So, speaking of working out, you did work out today, though. I did. So, I recorded my first workout video. I have been wanting to do this. Your it's first workout video. Video, yes. I had already been wanting to do this. You and I had talked about it. It was something that we kind of had on my things to do for my brand. 
And obviously there's very little time. We we try to do so much in a day and I just hadn't gotten to it. And since I have no choice but to work out at home right now, I was able to finally record this video. So I will have that for you guys uh, tomorrow for Tip Tuesday. And then I started my own Patreon. So so every, so every Tuesday, is that what we Tuesday, should expect? Yeah, every Tuesday it's going to fall under the Tip Tuesday category. At first I was going to do it Fit Friday. And then I was like, you know, yeah, it's better at the beginning Tuesday. of the week. And it, Tip Tuesday has something, been something that I can't have, you know, I've had going on for a minute on my social media platform. So I figured that's the case. And so, um, you know, guys, I just feel like right now um, we all have to be creative. And, and I had to get creative with the little equipment that I have here at my house. And, and it's stuff that I had from whenever I used to uh, train other people in my boot camps that I used to have. So, you know, with that, that being That's said, kind of how we used to first kick it. I was like, she was like my trainer, but you know. <laughs> she, she can be y'all's trainer too, mm -hmm. I'll share. Um, so, so the Patreon is not live yet. You're gonna announce a launch date and launch time. Correct. Uh, because we're, we're talking about like, you know, for some of the more one-on-one -on -one interactive ideas that you have, mm -hmm. where, where you're, you're literally sending them a menu or like a well, PDF I want to do a live class for my patrons only, which means we do an, a live like a Zumba class. So you'll a set live, a time. Yes, a live uh, workout class. So I'll set a time. If you're a patron, we're going to do this workout together. You're going to be at your house. I'm going to be at my house. But we're all going to work out together, and it's going to be fun. I feel like there's no re – I mean, it's going to be like Peloton, but in yeah. – you know? So it'll be like your class, but people can do it at home. Same bet time, same bet channel. Yes. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing that little ritual or tradition you do in the beginning when you start the class or the video, almost like the simultaneous sip. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. people start to look forward to it. It's like, hey, Tuesdays at this time, y'all leave me the fuck alone mm -hmm. because I like to do this workout live. The live class, I think, will have to happen. Well, assuming if how many people, you know, I'm assuming people are at home then it would probably be like a noon class. You know what I'm saying? If it's if people have gone back to work or whatever, I'll probably have it in the evening so as people get off. But I think about my stay-at-home moms as well. So that's why I was thinking of if you're a stay-at-home mom who signs up to my Patreon, right? Um, then you would have the early class. And then if you're a Patreon who is with me, but you know you get off later in the evening because you work, then it'll be two classes. So it's almost like I'll be having two classes per day. It's almost like a virtual gym, virtual Correct. trainer. So that's what I'm working towards right now. So hopefully, um, you know. So uh, really right after this podcast, we knock out your podcast and then we're going to sit down and edit your uh, shoulders at home yes, workout. Exactly. And I was, I was kind of behind the scenes today. Mm -hmm. I didn't participate. So I'm actually going to do the workout first yeah. before y'all. So, I'm so gonna, I'm and, gonna and he's going to pr pretty much be my guinea pig and let me know like, okay, your instructions were great, good, or like, no, I think you could I'm be I'm going to be like, they need some more camera angles. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, y'all, y'all be on the lookout. I believe it's going to be patreon.com forward slash Marisol Herrera, unless you decide to do something else. I think I've got a name and I'm, I, I tell you what it is, but I don't want to announce it. So I'm going to write it down. Okay, write it down. Um, and because this is what my creative director kind of suggested. So you're not going to announce it right now, right? I'm letting so you. So how about this? We're going to upload this today. Um, part of me wants to make, um, you know, the patrons get episodes a week ahead of time. And so far we've been doing that because the one with my sisters, they've had it for a week and I just made it live today okay. to the public. That's a great thing. So okay. this can either go up next week or we let it go up today because it's it's like up it's to relevant, date current. I think today. It's current, right? Because yeah. shit's changing day by day. We're getting these breaking news all the time. Um, a week from now, we don't know if, if they're going to be like, all right, we got a handle on it. Yeah. Or they're going to be like, all right, motherfuckers, shit's getting real. Yeah. Um, so earlier I was saying that... You know, we, we love our touring, we love our job, we love comedy, we love stand-up, we love meeting the fans, we love shaking hands and asking people like, man, did you, did you have fun? What was your favorite part? And, and, and when they tell me like, man, we needed that, like, man, tell a friend. You know, it's all, it's all grassroots, it's all community. And um, we're in the business of bringing people together, hope, you know, making people have a good time, feel good. We build community, like we laugh together. 
we're all laughing together. We're, uh, we're usually making fun of myself, but it's hopefully it's in a relatable way. And my goal is to bring people together, you know, at the moment because we are having to work around uh, this pandemic, this global pandemic. I'm not trying. To, the shows are great, but we want y'all to be safe, and we're not trying to be the folks that are getting on planes and and doing the meet and greets the old way. So the world is changing, like. The handshake is about to be optional as a about motherfucker. Be, it's about to be this. For a lot of people. Yeah, even that. So, like, the world has changed. You're going to see more online education. You're going to see more telemedicine where you talk to a doctor via FaceTime. Um, uh, live events. Well, you know, uh, it's funny. That's kind of already been happening. You know, my friend um, Shauna already uses the virtual doctor. There's all kinds of so, stuff. That, yeah, that, it's, I'm sorry, her pediatrician. Well, it's not new. But it's gonna get bigger. Yeah, yeah. So I'm saying it's up. not. They're not the first ones to be doing it. And interpreters have been doing it also. You yeah, know, the, so the interpreters, video, phone. video phones. Uh, a lot of doctors, what they do is they'll call the interpreter, and the interpreters on a screen interpreting whatever the visit is about to the deaf person. So, yeah, it's been like you said, it's been happening, just not as popular as you know. Yeah. So, um, Eighth Wonder and ourselves, we're working on an official. Uh, announcement and statement uh, to let you guys know that um, I mean I'm just gonna give it to you plain Jane terms uh, we're gonna push it back uh, around uh, 16 de septiembre so Chingo de Mayo is gonna be different this year we were super excited the branding looks great the merch looks great uh, we were already we had meetings we we're making improvements sorry real quick baby. sorry sorry we we're making improvements like um, this year we have additional wash stations because we're hearing you know this stuff about this virus thing that we didn't. Really but you know what's weird though, babe? Mm. Even though we had decided to add an extra wash station in our meeting, our initial meeting, we had already talked about that. Remember? Because we're making having it, an yeah. additional. And this is kind VIP of, porta potty, like the. Uh, well, we had already asked. We had already talked about having an additional wash station even before mm -hmm. this whole coronavirus shit happened. That's what's crazy, right? Yeah. So with that being said. Um, we are postponing Chingo de Mayo, you know, because right now it's like a six foot rule and you can't twerk, you know, you can't back it up on people and be safe. Yeah. It's going to be some germs, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you got, we got. Uh, so we regret to, you know, we're super excited, but right now there's just so much stuff in the air. Um, we already had the line, the artist lineup. So we're having to reach out to the artist like, hey, uh, you're the first to know, but this is what's going to happen. <laughs> And do you have the state of it? Yeah, so it, it kind of sucks, but there's a positive to all of this. We have been wanting to create more stuff uh, here uh, at our headquarters, at home base, you know, here in the studio. Um, but th like they say in the industry, a tour will take away from your career. Meaning, hey, Chingo, man, when you going to be in this movie? I ain't got time to audition for shit. Because we're touring. And if I do get the part, they're going to be like, hey, man, we need you in California from this day to this day. I'm going to be like, I got to be in Atlanta, brother. <laughs> I'm doing Birmingham. I got Detroit. I got this. We got that. We're looking into Vegas, Seattle. And uh, so now that we got some downtime, you know, stay tuned. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube, then you're one of the 225,000 people <laughs> that I lost when my channel got deleted. We're back up to 6,000, which is great. And I'm 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 putting more um I'm I'm put way more just I, I took those quarter million folks for granted meaning I was busy touring I wasn't tripping over uh, videos yeah. so we've been slowly making the shift and I, every and you would try every downtown downtime excuse me mm -hmm. opportunity that you had. But, you know, it was like, hurry up, execute it because, you know, yeah, we're like, going to oh, leave in a and, couple of days. And so. we and don't forget, you got a podcast and then you leave tomorrow type yeah. of thing. Oh, and there's open mic tonight. Do you still feel like doing that? Oh, and you had that improv class as well. What's going on with that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So enough about that. Uh, my point is this. I'm actually excited for the new, you know, it's unfortunate that it took a virus to kind of like get the globe to focus and kind of work together and for politics and, and people, uh, the, the networks, all the blame game and the nitpicking and the back and forth to kind of turn it down a little bit because it's not the right vibe for an emergency. We're in an emergency and, uh, you know, everybody's working together. Uh, not only are we postponing stuff to make sure that everything's cool, but also it's 
to let us focus on what we've been wanting to do, mm -hmm. which is, hey, Marisol, you've been talking about doing the videos. When did you still want to get on that? And you know what? We might have time to give you an extra podcast. Matter of fact, the patrons, let's let's go ship them something. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's set up a the uh, another tier for like a VIP, VIP, VIP. I mean, there's just so many ideas. But the point is, we want to make more cool shit. So stay tuned to the Patreon and of course the YouTube. And of course the podcast and just going to be more consistent than ever and, and excited. Like I'm actually looking at El Mamado wig, uh, mm -hmm. Denchan Manolo are some characters we, Marisol and I, we improvise. Uh, Wetback Wednesday was a thing for a while. Um, you know, I, I might, people that I've been wanting to FaceTime for podcast guests, for interviews, now we're going to have time to look into all the technical stuff. So speaking of technical, hey, we got our tech team looking into... Chingo, how could you live stream a live concert? You know? Mm -hmm. Have Bo Bundy wash his hands with one of these little things. <laughs> and, and we're going to be in a, a, maybe at the secret group. We'll have cameras set up. And it'll be maybe just not that many people in the audience. But it'll be all you guys at home tuning in. Or um, uh, the web series. Or uh, a comedy show. I think yeah, comedy, comedy. But I think comedy is going to be so hard because... You need you, the live you audience. You need that live... Well, you know, you got... That's... You know, you guys uh, feed off of those laughs, you know? And, yeah. You know, it, so it changes, it's very important. Yeah, it changes the performance. Well, I mean, it, let's just not go too far. Yesterday we watched, you know, the, the, the service or church service on TV live. From the house. From the house. And uh, I went on their Instagram. And I basically, still pray. Jesus. We both prayed. Jesus yeah. still heard me. You know, for sure. Um, I pray every night with Penny and it's funny. I think I tell you this every time. She, I think, just, I must, I must pray, um, in the same tone every time. So, I'll say, ¿Quieres orar? And, you know, and she'll say, mm-hmm. And I'll say, okay. So, then, I'll Señor. say, okay, vamos a orar. So, I'll put my hands like this, and I close my eyes, and I'll say, Señor. And she's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> like, opening one eye, like, is she opening her eyes, or are they closed the whole time? Her eyes are so Asian. And so, yeah, so I'm like... <laughs> So she's like this, like she doesn't close them all the way. She, you know how she does that sometimes? Like, mm -hmm. you know, and so she like, it's like this and I'm like, and so we're praying and so she's just kind of listening to me and then I'll just go, amen. And she goes, uh, like, she can't say amen, but uh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I guess the tone that I make, but anyway, that yeah. made me think of that as you're talking about praying, but so, yeah. uh -huh. I went on their IG account, babe, and mm -hmm. there was absolutely no one in the congregation, like yeah. no one, except for staff that I, works there who has to work the camera. Yeah, I think it know? was shut, shut off. Like y'all can't come in here right now. Yeah. And honestly, like a lot of restaurants, they're like, Hey, Thanks for your support, but right now you can't dine in, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. We were setting up our to-go yeah. department. And they probably, when all this shit is said and done, they're probably like, man, we kind of like it like this. Yeah. Um, you never know, right? Because a lot of chefs, they get into it because they want to bring people together.